good day guys welcome to trendy wood channel on um, today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to design this um boutique flyer or let me say include some flyer flyer design boutique flyer design or whatever name you wish to call it or you whatever name you think you can call it i'll show you how to do this boutique fly, um, flyer design from scratch so just watch this video to the end and also subscribe if this is your first time of coming to my youtube channel so let me change the background to pure white so we know what we are working with okay here we go now let me lock let me hide the image now the first step first step is to what first step is enter our shape now let me let me just change the color of our shape so that we'll see what we are actually doing now this is how to pick a color i've done that in several of my videos so you can actually go back to wash it again if you really want to get it so now this is our shape right so what you do now is you stretch this shape stretch it like this and the next thing you do now come to your radius then you take your radius to 100 now your radius will automatically bear the edge of the shapes that's first step then what you do now you lock your shape then go to your crop crop part one side of the shape this is what you get you can as well to copy that a little bit okay let's work with the first one so this is what you will get are you saying then there you can you can enter the name of the the name of the enterprise or the name of the boutique the name being given to you which is mimi's what collection so let me just let me be quick on this so that this video will not be lengthy so so let me check check what we did here okay so just go to your fonts select a font that you know is going to suit what you are doing That's not the font I use, but let's work with this. I use a different font, but let's just work with this for the sake of this tutorial. So what is now? You, you reduce the size. Don't forget, you reduce the size because other this now coming. Another right up is coming. Sorry. If you bring it down. So the next thing that you drop it here that you leave it then you enter your collection enter your words enter your collection then the next thing you do is so what next thing you do is so is to copy the shape the initial shape then crop at this part also then when you've crop at this part what you do now you come here now you drag it to your test or drag it anywhere you want to drag it then place it let it align with this other let it align with the first shape that you created okay then now you can change the color you can change the color of the shape depending on what you want Are you seeing then now you merge the initial shape and this one together so now the next thing we are going to do now is to bring in our model is to bring in our model so this is what we'll do we'll bring in our model now we'll be dropping the i'll be dropping link on where you can download the pictures of this model just the model the two model i will drop link i will drop link on where you can download their pictures from 
but for the rest material you can just download any material you want to work with but i believe the model will be a little bit difficult to get to get them so i'll drop a link on where you get them from so just bring the model take the model to the back of the design then the next thing you do enter a cycle the shape rather the shape let me change the color so that you can also see what i'm doing now i'll be using color code to pick the color you see the color has changed so this is the color we are working with so now what you do is reduce the size sorry take the radius take the radius to so 40 then reduce the size shaping it the way you want okay like this is okay then the next thing you do now is to reduce your opacity reduce the opacity of the shape that you just created that they reduce the opacity to 40 or 50 depending on what you need now let's check out 50 or 50 will be like okay 50 is okay let's work with 15 reduce the opacity to 15 now this is where the main work begins now let me bring in the other mode again so that we know that we are done importing You know, very soon I'll be dropping tips on creativity, how to be creative as a graphic designer. I'll be dropping that video soon, so just stay tuned. Stay tuned to this channel. I'll be dropping that video soon, how to be creative as a graphic designer, how to unlock your creativity, how to be creative as a graphic designer. I'll be dropping that video very soon. So just stay tuned to this channel. If you've not subscribed, subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel and also share the link of it or also share videos from here with your friends so now you enter your shapes create the first shape now i'll be working with just three picture with these shapes just to illustrate something then you duplicate you also drop it on same line now most times one of the things that makes some of our work not to be professional is lack of alignment not too much we got everything correctly but our, sometimes our jobs are not aligned and let me tell you something what really matters in graphic designing is those minor minor things that you think that doesn't matter and this one it doesn't matter let me just leave it like that no arrange it let there, do, let there not be no let there let there be no mistake in what you're doing your job should be what should be clean and clear so uh, just align it very well if you're doing your own take time align it very well then what you do now is you you bring down those shapes again break them down again then go to go to edit then you bring them down a little bit like this then now you change the color of the shape the down part then drop it drop it what beneath the initial shape that you created take it a little bit up i see now what you do now is let me assume you've downloaded your 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 image the one you've your image and you you have you you have removed the background you've downloaded the image you've removed the background now this suits there's no background now i'll be i'll be dropping i will use two image with start no background and one image with background to show you something and now what you do now is you reduce the size now most of us make a mistake by dragging image like this which is wrong if you want to drag image, drag it from here. Is it that you increase it or is it like this? Don't do it like this or do it like this. It's very wrong. So from here you drag your image 
or possibly use your relative style or relative position to avoid complications so what you do now you drag okay you see this image now is very small in this thing so what you do now you, you adjust it a little bit and secondly if you need a full mentorship a full mentorship you want me to mentor you full time in graphic designing you can also slide my dm my mentorship and um, this thing is ongoing so you can also slide my dm we'll talk about it proper in my dm so all you do now you just come here increase a little increase the size a little see i'm taking time to arrange it uh -huh. then the next night import another one again let me see another one without no background another one without no background let me roll i use all i use okay let me just use the joggers and use the joggers then you also reduce the size reduce the size from here come here reduce the height i see then for this one now uh, for this other um layer that has on um, background maybe the image that has background what you do you come here go to your texture import it into the background let me see if any let me see if i have the documents that were sent to me if i don't have it i'll use another picture to illustrate what i want to illustrate let me let's assume the image has background are you getting me the image has background okay the image has background like this and the, the your client asks you to use this particular picture and there's no way you can copy it this is what you do now it's not that it's not that um, clean you're seeing some parts so you do enable if you enable now you see that you've gotten what you needed then let me check what we've not done again please don't forget to hit the subscription button okay now this other this other part of the shape you add it you'll be the one to add them here put the name of the items that it, that's put the names the names of the item that is there your suits your joggers and your sneakers then now uh, let me change this one okay now what we do now you reduce the opacity of this one take your radius to to 100 let me pick a color so that you see what i'm doing sorry let me just let me just delete it then start afresh enter shapes when you enter shapes now take your shapes like this reduce the opacity sorry take your radius to 100 reduce the opacity then come to your stroke stroke it into two then reduce the size reduce the size like this that's that's where you put your dates sorry that's where you put your your phone number phone number of the brand being given to you then that's where you put your phone number then let me say they they sent you their their social media handle their icon you can as well put it at the down part here, arrange it very well so please kindly subscribe and thank you for watching see you guys in my next video Mom.